Hello, everybody, and welcome to my Season 2, Episode 1, Review of What We Do in the Shadows. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> I mean, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting. I think we all have, and we just couldn't wait for the season to start, and it has started. And I believe there's already two episodes out, which is great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this episode today, and hopefully tomorrow I'll get the other one out. And, uh, well, without further ado, let's get started because we've waited long enough. <laughs> so we're back at the Vampire Residence where all the action and interesting things happen. Hooray! So they find Naja and Laszlo sitting in their chairs, and they're talking about, well, I think it's over the summer that they have gotten, well, quite a few familiars. And, and, and if anybody's familiar with the familiar, it would have to be Naja, Naja, and Laszlo. i got to make sure I say Naja right. So, what has been happening with their, their familiars? Well, they've been dying. One <laughs> after another, <laughs> after another, and after another. And apparently, they've had seven of them. Seven familiars. That's just croaked. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> they've had very, very, very bad luck. So, what has Nandor been doing? Well, I guess a way of... He's been finding himself in a way... He learned how to turn himself into mist. Unfortunately, when he learned to turn himself into mist, <laughs> he kind of got caught up <laughs> in some kind of a... I don't know what that is. That's like a an air, air purifier. And he came out the other end. <laughs> and he looked like an old man. I mean, I couldn't stop laughing I saw that. I still get the giggles when I see him like that. It's like, you ding-dong. <laughs> so he, he's practicing turning into a mist in front of an air purifier. Brilliant. I love Andor. He's so cool. So we go to Colin. No, I'm sorry, Colin Robinson. Because that's the way he says it. And he's been spending his time at the DMV. In fact, so much so that they gave him his license. I guess that's the greatest place for an energy vampire to be. And so what did he do <laughs> with this license? He got his car. He went down to the Lincoln Tunnel and blocked all the traffic. And look how happy he looks. I mean, that's a lot of energy flowing. <laughs> but he looks like a happy camper, don't he? Oh, Got to look on. So then we go to Guillermo. And I'm saying his name a hell of a lot better, I must say. I've been having a heck of a time. I almost, I almost started just calling him Gizmo. But Guillermo. I can say it right now. They're vamp the vampire's familiar. Probably the only one is probably going to keep surviving. So he's been spending most of his time in the bathroom, apparently. <laughs> I don't know why. And he has been busy. First of all, he made a friend. And this little squirrel. But wait. Is that a squirrel? No. It is not a squirrel. Not at all. It's a vampire. Now, you're probably going to say, what? What the heck's the vampire doing in there? And, of, and, of course, if you listen to him, he invites him inside. So the vampire came in. So I was kind of, that that's kind of cool how he invited him in. And he's like, okay, I'm in. And so la uh, he attacks him. Uh, Guillermo attacks the vampire and kills the vampire. Now, remember, I think he's part Van Helsing, I believe. So this carries on from the story ending last season. So he kills, but what's going on? Why is he killing these vampires? Look, another one's attacking of, I forgot his name. <laughs> Man, I have a blank on it. Um, but uh, Laszlo, there he goes. Oh my gosh. And and there he is saving him. So apparently, there's a hit out on him. And Guillermo is fighting all these vampires. But he's not telling them. So as you can see, he's he's trying to keep it a secret. And no one knows. Not not Nandor, not, not Laszlo, not Nadja. And he's just killing all these vampires because he has a feeling that if he tells them, they're going to realize he's killing vampires and they might have to kill him. And that's his logic anyways. So he hasn't been getting any kind of sleep. So he's been sitting in the bathroom eating uh, these chocolate-covered espresso beans. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he's killed like 10 vampires. I was like, dang, man, he's really becoming the heck of a vampire killer. So, but he's been eating these espresso beans, apparently, a big old jar of them. And those are actually pretty good. I've had some before. <laughs> They're really good. That's, that bottle's big, man. That must have cost a pretty penny. I mean, those, those things aren't cheap. 
And so as he's eating them, he gets there's a knock on the door, and he drops all of his espresso beans. And it's Nendor, and he wants to he's trying to find out what's going on with them. And he's like, "Oh, I had an accident here. Don't come in." And but of course, Nando does come in and sees what he looks. <laughs> he looks down. <laughs> and he sees all those little brown pellets all over the place, <laughs> basically telling, "Get uh, I'm gonna call him Gizmo. Get him all. Then he needs to have more water in his diet." <laughs> so he thinks Gizmo pooped out a bunch of little poop pellets. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf's face is so good. He says, like, this really sucks. So now we go back to Laszlo and Nadja, who are extremely happy. Now, why are they happy? Well, lo and behold, they have finally found their familiar. Yes, they have their familiar. One that has lasted. One that is very competent. And his name is Topher, who is played by... Haley Joel Osment. So we see Topher for the first time. They love, they love Topher. They love Topher. And he's he's like the nicest guy. And he's he's such a good person. He works so hard when he doesn't. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Well, apparently, this Topher character is two different people. When he's around the vampires, he's all Mr. Gung-Ho. I'm going to work for you. I'm going to do anything you need. Blah, blah, blah. And when you're not, he's Mr. Lazy. Which, Guillermo's not very happy with <laughs> Because Guillermo's doing all the work and he's just hanging around, just flopping around. So when the vampires come in, he gets to work. So when they see him working, they're all complimenting him. And Laszlo's saying how he looks like like him when he was, I don't know, cleaning fireplaces or something like that. And so <laughs> it's all this big love fest and they give each other a hug. He says, bring it in. And they're all hugging. And obviously Guillermo is really not happy with it. <laughs> the look on his face is just priceless. He has some great looks on his face. You can't deny that. It's awesome. The way <laughs> it's so here comes uh, Laszlo. No, Laszlo. Nandor. Man, I get the names fixed and mixed up. Apparently, he was walking around the neighborhood and his cape got some poop on it. And he kept walking around trying to drag the, the poop off the cape, which didn't work, obviously. So he gives the job to Guillermo to, to clean it. And... Topher asks if he can, you know, jump in and for the assist. He goes, no, oh, no, this is all for, this is all for, uh, Gettemol. And apparently Nandor loves Topher too. <laughs> because, you know, all oh, you, you guy, you, you know, they're all like fake, you know, you know, fighting there. And it's, they're all laughing and having a good time. And poor N- Gettemol is like on the outside looking in. You know, he's just... He just walks away. Just this sucks. <laughs> this Topher guy's taking over everything. Everyone loves Sam, but they don't love me. So poor Guillermo. So later we see them sitting there. Topher having a grand old time, and Guillermo not so much. <laughs> he's just he's just really not too fond of the Topher. Topher's talking about some kind of apple cider they're making, and he's not telling. You know, he doesn't want to tell them. Uh, Laszlo and Andor. Uh, I'm sorry, Laszlo and uh, uh, Nadja. You know and. And he has this thing about high fives. Give me a high five. And, and get him all, not so much. He, I don't want to get five, five, five. But finally, he gives him his high five. You know, he didn't want to, but he did because I guess he kept insisting. So, Guillermo starts talking about how, you know, you, you should, you know, be respectful and everything. Because, you know, eventually you want to become a vampire. And that's when Topher drops the bomb of, well, I really don't want to be a vampire. Which, <laughs> which really knocks Guillermo for a loop. He's like, what? He goes, what do you mean? What do you want to be then? He goes, I want to... <laughs> he goes, basically, I want to be a warlock. And I don't even know if those are real or not. I mean, I know werewolves are, so, but I don't know if warlocks are. And he's like, pretend like he's casting a spell, you know, on that, that skull and it's going to blow up and everything. You know, and <laughs> Guillermo's just disgusted. I swear he's getting angrier and angrier and angrier. <laughs> don't for such a ding-dong. Oh, poor Guillermo. And, and later on, we see Topher talking to Colin, talking about his little uh, uh, venture, his business venture, you know. And even Colin seems to like Topher. Everyone loves Topher. And the, so the doorbell rings, so Topher runs off to answer it, and there's two vampires sitting in the doorway. You know, he's like, oh, come on in. <laughs> and the vampires come running in. So, so obviously, Guillermo has to go kill them. So Guillermo's not too happy about this, so he has to go talk to Topher about rules. Look, there's rules. You can't be going around doing this stuff, man. 
And he's basically telling him, and by the way, stay away from the koi pond because there's an electrical short and you want to stay away from that. Of course, Topher, I can fix it. I, you know, I do all sorts of stuff. I can do this. And he's like, no, wait for the electrical guy, Topher. Topher's like, no, I can do it. Wham! <laughs> Obviously, we saw this coming a, while, a mile away. <laughs> You're almost just like, yep, I saw this coming. We have a dead Topher. So, now we go off to Topher's <laughs> his, his funeral. And everyone's sad because the loved... Beloved Topher is gone, but they're not having none of it. By the way, uh, Colin is enjoying this because he's feeling feeding off their misery, and they're like, "Will you cut it out? We're we're already weak, you know, weak as it is." And Nadja and Lazar have none of it. They want to, they want him back. They want their Topher back. So she's telling them, "We're gonna dig him up. I've got an idea. We're gonna bring him back to life." And of course, they have to have poor Guillermo dig him up. So they go find a necromancer, who is played by Benedict Wong. Now, who is Benedict Wong? Well, you've seen him, Doctor Strange. You've you've, you've seen him in uh, the Avengers, obviously, because he's with Doctor Strange. He was in The Martian, and one of my favorite series, which only lasted one season, was Deadly Class, which really sucks. It's also on FX, by the way. It was awesome. I love that show, but it only lasted one season, which really stunk. So, anyways, so he is the necromancer, Wallace. And so they head back to his shop. It looks like a little gift shop, it looks like. And he's showing them their, their little, uh, the, the little license plate tags with, uh, with names on which I remember those things. Oh, man, they're all, God, I remember looking, looking at them all the time. And for some reason, Nandor is really infatuated with the Steve one. I don't know why. I don't think there's anybody named Steve in the show. But he's really infatuated by it. I, it's just Steve, you know, so, anyways, they bring in their Topher for him to bring back to life. So, they start the process of bringing him back, the necromancer. He got all the ingredients, everything he needs, and he starts. And he starts, like, chanting, but it's not chanting, it's actually scatting. <laughs> Which, <laughs> Guillermo's like, what? And Nandor's like, is he scatting? You know, and... And scatting, for those of you who don't know, is a form of kind of like jazz, but but the words are Im improvised, and it's kind of like just you know you're just making things up all in one way, and kind of trying to make it rhyme. That's kind of scatting, you know. Even even Nandor, <laughs> I mean Laszlo, he's like he's not a what the heck is this? And he thinks it's all a sham. Of course, I mean anybody who apparently Nadia likes, he does he doesn't seem to really be too fond of. So. He actually brings him back. All of a sudden, his eyes open, and he's just, he's coming back. And he starts floating, which is really kind of cool looking. And it's like the rest are like going, hey, this looks like it's working. And he get, and Wallace gets a phone call. Now, look at the phone. It says, Alicia, at which, you know what? <laughs> and I didn't notice it until I really looked at it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's someone from the first season. I don't know if this is someone they're going to introduce or show during this season. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. But I thought it was kind of funny. And so it's over. And he's telling them, look, you're going to have to wait a day or so for him to come back. But he's set. You're all set, ready to go. So they're pretty happy about it. So they head back. And they're having their house meeting. No call in there. So he's... Nandor is taking roll call. I mean, there's, you know, he's there, and Guillermo's there. Obviously, Nadia and Laszlo's there, and so is, T <laughs> and so is Topher. But he's on the wall, and he's not looking too good. In fact, he looks pretty awful. <laughs> he looks really, really bad. <laughs> and, <a> <laughs> and Guillermo's not very happy with it either. Now, apparently. Nandor brought this media because there's a stench of dead flesh in the air and there are a bunch of dead birds all over the place. And he's not naming names. And then you hear Topher going, Topher! And he goes, I'm not naming names. And he comes running by, <laughs> just screaming at, at, at poor Guillermo. And they're just, they, they are oblivious to, you know, that Topher's not the same. So Guillermo goes, I have something I want to talk about. And he's basically telling him, look, he goes, Topher's not right. He's the one eating the birds. He's, he's the one 
basically eating the, uh, the, uh, well, sneaking from under his bed trying to bite him. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and he's telling him he's a zombie. He's a freaking zombie, man. And they don't believe him. He goes, you gotta stop talking. And they're like, he's, it, there's, well, no, you better talk to him, Nandor. And he's like, <laughs> and Nandor's like, do you have any proof? And at that moment, there goes Topher running by him, scaring the holy crap out of poor uh, Guillermo. <laughs> Guillermo's like, it's right there. He's a zombie. And, and they're just not having it. They, no, no, no. And he's trying his hard, as pleading his case. And he's like, I can't, because <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Poor, poor, poor <laughs> Guillermo. They just, no, no, they love Topher so much they refuse to believe it. So, he, Guillermo takes off. And as he's taken off, he's eating his little uh, espresso bean thingies, coffee beans. And <laughs> But when Nandor sees him do it, he, he's basically going, he's eating his own dried poop. <laughs> he thinks it's his dried poop. Oh, that was so funny when he was that. It was hilarious when he said that. So, meanwhile, he heads back to, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Guillermo heads back up to the bathroom. And as he's there, he hears something, like a window crash. And, of course, as you can see there, he has his espresso beans because they're very important. So he goes off to investigate dun, 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 with his stake and try to find what the heck was that coming from. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> here comes Topher, and he starts chasing Guillermo. <laughs> Guillermo takes off like a shot. Well, Guillermo's having nothing of it. He doesn't want to die. And he stabs Topher right in the chest. Well, Topher doesn't die because he's a freaking zombie. So Topher wants a high five for some weird reason because he's a zombie, I guess. And Guillermo's fine, fine. So he gives him a high five and knocks his arm off. <laughs> so <laughs> Topher picks his arm up and wants another high five. And Guillermo's, look, I don't want to do that. Topher starts beating him with his severed arm and just getting really mean with him. So he starts chasing Guillermo. <laughs> with his and he has a severed arm he's chasing Guillermo with a severed arm and Guillermo's had enough so he shoves him off his little balcony and he blap lands on the ground and Guillermo thinks because it was an accident well here comes Colin Colin just walked right over him like oh well you know Guillermo's like he's like what's wrong with Topher and he's like I think he's not he's yeah probably so as he's leaving Topher gets up and starts chasing Guillermo all over again so they get chased into a room and they fall out a window all the way back down, obviously, to the first floor outside. So Topher starts chasing <laughs> Guillermo again. And he grabs him and he's trying to drown Guillermo with his one good arm. And someone comes and saves Guillermo. Who could it be? It's Nandor. Nandor saves him. He saw Guillermo get attacked by... <laughs> by Topher and saves him, but the reason why he attacked or saved him was because he got woke up from his slumber because all the noise he was making. <laughs> Guillermo's like, are you serious? Really? So, Nando's had enough because Topher's thrashing around like a madman and he just snaps his neck and throws him to the wall. Well, Topher jumps back up again. <laughs> <laughs> and Nandor's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> no, he, I'm sorry. He goes, this effing guy. So this time, he throws him into the pond again. Into the water he goes. He, and he starts, he started saying it in the first time he snapped his neck this. He goes, he was a good familiar and a fine fellow. But what done is, before he even finish it, here comes Topher again. <laughs> what he was... Can you believe that he was so mad? <laughs> because what do I got to do? So he puts him in the pond again. He's standing on him and he's in the pond. And he tells Guillermo to turn on the circuit, the electricity. You know, and he goes, I'll be fine. <laughs> he's standing on him. <laughs> it's like it tickles. <laughs> but it doesn't kill him. So they take him back to the necromancer, Wallace. And it's like, we want our money back. Because <laughs> this is not what we asked for this is <laughs> because this is not what we wanted and and, and he's like wait man like, fine 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 you know so i'll take him back you know and he goes and even even uh what's his name uh colin was like not cool wallace not cool so wallace is kind enough it's like look i'll take him back and i'll give you you each can have a free license plate from the the, the little bin there at, with the names on it 
and they're so happy. They're like, okay, so so they they're fine with that. They lose three hundred fifty bucks, and they're they, they're happy with their license plates. That's strange to me, but okay. So they each go and grab themselves a license plate. Again, <laughs> Nandor grabs Steve for some. I don't know what reason, but he grabs Steve. Can't understand why. And Nadia grabs Nadia, but Nadia, not Nadja. Nadja, yeah, with a J. So she's pretty stoked by hers. <laughs> Colin's like, there's no calling because we haven't sold one of those. In, he said how many years, I don't know. He goes, they just don't sell. He goes, but you have condom? He goes, yeah, those are very popular. <laughs> so Gamo goes off and gets Gigi because he says it's better than Gizmo. So they head back to the house, and Guillermo's talking like, well, everything's back to normal. You know, he's back in his room. He's doing his thing, and and hopefully everything will work out. Maybe he'll, you know, down the line. You know, he's happy that his master is treating him right. Because if he doesn't, he's got those bottles of yu Because we know what yu can do to a vampire. So, <laughs> so that's the end of the episode. Or is it? What happened to Topher? What did Wallace do with Topher? Well, apparently Wallace has a workshop. <laughs> and he puts Topher into the workshop. But what are they making? They're making license plates with the names on them. <laughs> the the keychains. <laughs> Topher's going, Topher! And you can hear other ones in the background. <laughs> they like condom. <laughs> so that's it for the episode. For the first episode. So what did I think? Great, great start. Great start to it. Topher was great. I mean, uh, I mean, he was so good. I, Haley Joel Osment really knocked it out of the park, I thought. He was really, really good. And, and the faces that Guillermo kept making was so good. And, and I loved when, when Nandor thought he, he, he pooped all those little pellets. That was so funny. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. Or when Nandor came out and he was all, he was white <laughs> from the from the air purifier. That was pretty good. Of course, Colin being Colin was awesome. He's he's just it's so amazing how I mean I said it before when the first the season started the first season started. I wasn't too sure about the character. And as the season went on, I just fell in love with the dude. He's just so awesome. He's so great. And I don't think Laszlo and Nadia are ever going to have a, a familiar. <laughs> uh, maybe they will. Maybe they'll find one. But I don't know, man. They they keep dying left and right. With I mean, holy cow, man. Seven, now that eight familiar is gone. But they had one before that. Well, two of them. So eight, nine, ten. So that's about ten of them, I believe. You know, they had the old lady. No, not the old lady. No, that wasn't. That wasn't old lady. Yeah, that was. And they had a. Uh, a young kid, and he died from the bookcase, I think, falling on him. So, my gosh, so many of them just died. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> holy cow. And it's 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 amazing. There, there's Guillermo just watching them all come and go. You know, so I'm hoping. What am I hoping, actually, for the first season? Uh, they continue on doing just like this. Just great episodes. Just funny episodes. Just, you know, not caring about nothing. You know, obviously we're going to get some guest stars. We've heard about it already. And I'm really looking for, and I hope, I hope that the one vampire, I can't remember her name right now off the top of my head, that Nadja turned. I hope she comes back because she was really cool. I liked her. She was really neat. And I, th I think the werewolves will be back also, I believe. So that would be cool too. So, so there you go. That's my review of the first episode of the second season. And I'm super happy with it. I'm super, super, super happy with them. It. It's awesome. Very, very good show, as I that's always been good. Well, no, I'm sorry. Great show. And uh, so I'm looking forward to the second episode. Uh, it's out, I believe, and I'm going to try to do it and have it out tomorrow. So thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you like. I'd love to talk to you all about it. And uh, leave a like if you want. Subscribe to continue on watching my reviews of what we do in the shadows for Season 2. Can't wait for the second episode. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.